All right, we're seven days away from the May 19th election, which is just down the road a bit on Tuesday. And we're going to talk about a number of things happening here in the warehouse. And we're going to start with equipment. Now, Justin, we were just talking a little bit ago. These voting booths that are going out uh, throughout the county, countywide, just yesterday alone, we had 3,000 that we put on trucks. Right? That's, that's correct, yes. So let's talk about the logistical challenge of doing that. And you can see around us how many voting booths we have here. Yeah, uh, we have a short window to get all these voting booths to the polling places. That's 8,500 voting booths. And we have to schedule it with each polling place individually. Um, the equipment has to be tracked. There's hundreds of seals in each one of these caddies that have to be tracked. And uh, it all has to be coordinated in a, in a tight window. Now here's an example of that. The, every one of these we call a caddy. So when you see this piece here, it's holding eight voting booths. And some of these will stack more than eight on top. But just alone for tomorrow, we have 14 trucks that we're going to be loading these caddies onto, right? right. So all these voting booths have been prepared for election day. And like he talked about, the seals, the printers have been checked, the screens have been cleaned. Uh, we put warning stickers and labels on them, so they're ready to go for election day. So when the poll workers see them, they're ready to set them up. Right, right. right. Let's go ahead and we're going to walk into the cage here. You can see uh, in terms of what's happening here in the warehouse, there's a lot more than just the equipment that's going on. So let's walk in and show and talk about these supply boxes here. Now what you're going to see in here is a good visual because right now there are 932 boxes that are going to be ready for poll workers to pick them up this coming Saturday. We're going to be doing distribution throughout the county and that's going to be happening uh, at 12 sites around the county. This is, a, it, it, it's actually kind of an exciting process for us because this is where all of our planning efforts come together. All the supplies and everything that we've created for the election go into these boxes for poll workers. And, and Tim, if you want to just kind of bend down here, you can see that right now we have generic items that are going in the boxes and those will be followed quickly by precinct specific items. Justin, why don't you talk a little bit about what kind of precinct specific items there might be. Well, we're going to place the rosters in here. That has the list of voters that are eligible to vote at that polling place. We're also going to have paper ballots that they can vote on in case a voter wants to vote paper. Um, and all those have to be put in the right box that's going to go to the right precinct. Now, we're going to do one of these video blogs every day between now and the seven days that we have until the election. So we're going to show you lots of things that are happening. But we want to show you one other thing real quick on this one before we uh, end this video blog. As you pass through here, you can see how many boxes we've prepared and assembled. And it's probably also important to point out that we manufacture our own boxes. We put dividers in them. We're one of the only counties in the state that, that does that. Uh, the logo for our elections on the side, it identifies which election it's for. So, uh, and it's a sturdy box, so because poll workers need to be able to have a sturdy box to use. And one of these final processes I want to show you is back here in the back. These black boxes that you see lined up here right now are what are called JBC boxes. They contain the electronic ballot box that's used in the poll site on election day. And we have to predefine each one of these JBCs for a specific poll site before it goes out so that when it's opened up on election day, it's, re it's for the correct poll site. Let's talk real quickly about what we're doing here. And Becky's always happy when we just pop in on her unannounced. <laughs> uh, Justin, let's talk a little bit about what's happening with this. Well, uh, Rebecca is setting up each JBC, as Neil mentioned, but as she's doing it, she goes through a rigorous proofing process. She makes sure the precinct number's right, the polling place is correct, the seals are correct, the date and time are correct, and uh, she does a great job of that. Yeah, and it's interesting, it's important to point out that there are a thousand of these, 932, that will be done between now, actually a couple of days ago, and this coming Friday. So a lot of work is going on around you. You didn't see a lot of people in the warehouse right now because a lot of folks have taken just a quick break, but we're working around the clock to make the election happen. So stay tuned to this video blog, one each day between now and Election Day on May 19th. Thanks again.